Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Shira Star Hobby. This video is another kind of update with some dolly ramblings. Um, I like doing these kinds of videos where I just kind of uh, let you guys know where I'm at with certain projects um, or if I've done some redecorating in my doll room. Um, this video today has a little bit of everything. Uh, first things first, if you watched my face up reveal on my classic Oscar and my sleeping face Oscar, you'll know that I had talked about um, sleeping Oscar and this Oscar can share a body because they were cast at the same time. They were poured, their resin is the same. Um, and so I did end up putting the sleeping face on this Oscar body for photographs. And, um, I was talking to the friend that allowed me to purchase my first Oscar and she had purchased two at the same time. And then she had gotten the sleeping head extra. And so she gifted me the sleeping head a while back and that was amazing. Um, because I had never thought about um, just having floating heads. That's just not really my thing. Um, which is why I went ahead and ordered um, a um, Jaga doll uh, Cyrus 30 centimeter body um, through at Clover, at New Clover Singing on Instagram. And so me and my friend were talking the other day. Um, she has a number four Oscar head, which is the same head as my Trafari. He has the little Oni horns. And, um, and so, you know, he, she has the number four head with an Oscar body and some extra hands. And she had sent them off, um, to light and dark dolls. I don't know if you follow her on Instagram or not, but if you don't, you should because she's amazing. Her doll collection is amazing and she's a face-up artist who is incredibly talented. So shout out to Janet. Um, and so she had sent her number four Oscar head with the hands to get, uh, you know, painted and whatever. So they came back and they turned out fantastic because of course light and dark dolls is amazing at her at her art and um, she had taken apart her Oscar body and she was planning on you know suading him and wiring him and restringing him um, you know to make him a little bit better at holding poses and things because these bodies you know they're all kind of they're all kind of one of a kind um, I was just looking at the differences between them and there's a lot of differences um, even between these two bodies which were f made at the same time so this is an original Oscar body um, the friend that I've been talking to about the Oscars um, the one who let me buy this one the one who gifted me this one she was kind enough to offer me a trade where uh, she gives me the original Oscar body and I give her the Jaga doll, Cyrus doll that I ordered that won't be here for a while. I couldn't believe <laughs> that she wanted to do this trade. Um, and so what happened was she <laughs> kind of got demotivated and she didn't want to worry about trying to suede him and wire him and string him back together. So she sent him to me in parts. Um, and so if you were following along with my Instagram stories the other day, I was posting like updates on, in my stories showing how I was doing as far as stringing him because I have never unstrung and restrung at all. But I'll tell you what, it was the most satisfying experience to do that with an Oscar body. And, um, so I am like ecstatic that I have an original Marina body for my sleeping head Oscar and look at him he's incredible I can't even and he came with so many cool extras 
let me show you. First, he has an extra pair of hands um, that are called her demon hands, which I believe she sculpted them specifically for the number four head because he's supposed to be a demon with the Oni horns. Um, and they are really cool. I love the hands because they're like, look at how expressive they are. And like, they're just so beautiful. And I, I had no idea that these were included with the doll until I saw the pictures that Light and Dark had posted on her Instagram of them, of all the hands being painted. So I was just like, what? Look at, look at these incredible hands. And so of course he's got the other, uh, standard Oscar hands, which I love as well. And they've all been blushed. And these were meant, you know, to go with the face up that she has on her number four head that she's planning on hybriding onto the Zaga doll body. Um, here's the K-pop Korean heart hand. So that was amazing that I have these rare hands that she doesn't cast anymore. Um, and the reason why she doesn't is because this joint here is different. On, the, on her new um, Oscar body, this joint is gone. Therefore, the hand, like, she'd have to, like, re-sculpt the hand to fit the new body. And she just hasn't done that. Um, and then he came with a pair of resin I want to say they're 3D printed shoes with the hooks in them. Now, these are like really rare as well because she doesn't offer shoes with every doll. And if she does, they're magnetic now. They're not hooked in. So these will go in place of Oscar's feet. So you just, you pull them off like you would if you're going to send them off to get you know, painted, and then you just hook these, you know, hook them onto the elastic, and he's got permanent shoes on, which I have yet to try them, because I wanted to put the high tops on him. So, I was like, I didn't, I had no idea that these, that she had these as well, so when I, when I opened the, the, the body, I was like, oh my gosh, look at all of these amazing extras that I just have never even thought about having in my collection. So this Oscar body is extra super special to me. I am blown away by her ge generosity, um, you know, offering him to me. I will cherish him forever, just like I will cherish this Oscar forever because they're, fr they're both from her. And, um, I just, I can't believe that I have, you know, four complete Marina boys from head to toe in my collection. Trafari, I'm going to do a separate update video on him because I want to start sharing his story with you. Um, and I have made him a completely new outfit. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. Um, but this is the first part of this update video is all about my new Oscar baby. Um, and then I will show you something else. So hold on. Here is my updated wall of art. Some of these might look the same to you because I kept them up there. But if you haven't seen it yet, I put Lola's stickers in a frame that's see-through so that you can see their shadow on the wall. And I love the way that looks. These are her 
her uh, Patusa and Petete um, stickers that she's got on her website. If you haven't ordered any, you should do so because the artwork is amazing. Um, I, w I did frame that this little art here that she sent me with um, Kanita because I absolutely adore this drawing of Mamoni. She just looks fantastic. This is the Mamoni artwork from Al Doll that Allison brought me back, which I absolutely adore this picture. Here we've got Kiwi, because she's such a cutie patootie. And then I recently got some new art from Jacqueline De Leon, which um, if you guys have seen my Plant Life Diorama video, um, I talked about the sticker packs and some of the artwork that I got. Um, from her this was included and so was this girl and they're just incredible I just love this artwork and then I went ahead and took apart one of my notebooks that Marina sent me with my micro Oscars um, she sent me two of the same same notebook um, because you know there's a notebook included with every order so I took it apart and I framed it because I absolutely adore her artwork and I don't have enough of it <laughs> so I took the front cover and framed it here and then I took the back cover and framed it there so I know the shadows are terrible here and then um, if you guys saw my other video where I did um, kind of like an unboxing of these rare prints by at Ladowska. Um, these were my favorites and so I framed these two together to make one full picture and then I put these two there. So that is my little art update and there's more so hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure this looks like a hot mess to you guys right now. Uh, but this is the beginning of my treehouse diorama for Trafari. So what I decided to do was I had this box that this, like this was already, see how like, it's attached? This is already part of the box. I, I'm not sure what came in this box, but like all these cutouts were already made and then this part was already made now originally I was gonna like stone this with some hot glue and make it look like um like a fireplace and then I was gonna just do like a regular floor and then have it step up into another floor and make like a bedroom type thing but I have had this box for a very very long time and I haven't done anything with it and I think it's because the box was telling me that it wanted to become a tree house for Trafari. So I took some paper towel rolls and I crumpled them up and then I hot glued them in. So they're, they're pretty stuck in there because I also decided to try clay for the first time. Now this is just air dry clay. It's nothing too serious as far as like high quality um really really good stuff um it's like ten dollars a brick on amazon and um i've been wanting to try it and wanting to try it and finally i just decided to go ahead and of course i used up the entire brick here which if you can tell this is a tree and then the branch is coming here and then here's another tree coming out here and then this is gonna be like covered in moss so it'll look like a hill or some kind of you know natural land form and then the rest of this is just gonna be covered with leaves moss plants I mean you know everything I'm gonna do some stonework here but these are like the roots coming out of the ground. So there's going to be a lot of painting involved. Um, and I am just so excited because like Trafari's new outfit is basically done and he looks incredible and I can't wait to share him with you guys. Um, but I, I would like to give him his own video when I tell you guys about his story. So I'm going to try my best to hold on, you know, to just hold on <laughs> um, and then of course I, I would like to add some layers um, to the treehouse and make it so that there's more flooring um, so that it'll look like an actual tree with layers so 
that's that. And I believe I have a few more things to share with you guys. So hold on. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys is I have this um, big Ikea shelf. It's got four across and four down. And I've decided to start making each cube into an apartment style diorama that I can photograph my dolls in. Um, that way I have uh, like smaller sections of spots to take photos in and I won't have to make huge dioramas that take up too much space. So if you guys remember way back when I had made a really really big Haikyuu diorama um, and I ended up taking everything out of that and taking it apart and here I have made a smaller version and what's really nice is this is scrapbook paper and it's just taped in here so whenever I want to change it out I can I don't have to worry about ruining the walls or anything like that because everything is just basically taped on um, and so it's easy to to change things out so there's my haiku room here is my art studio um, with all of my Troll Hunters artwork that I have bought from um, Fairy Anna. She's got an Etsy shop um, and an Instagram. And this circular picture here is done by a different artist. I forget her name, but I will post it here. Um, and so there is my little Troll Hunters art studio type dealio with my Coco Mini Fay. And then here is my miraculous ladybug room, which I really love how this one turned out. It's super fun. My Kanita is in here. And then the very last room that I've got finished is my Sailor Moon room, um, which has been changed around a little bit. Um, but it works and there is my Momonita in there. So this is a simple, cute way of, you know, not making huge dioramas. So if you've got limited doll space, which a lot of us do, um, but you still want something nice to photograph your dolls in, you know, just try making like an apartment style little mini dioramas in a shelf like this even if you've just got you know one shelf that's got you know just two open sections um, you can see here I've got a lot of crap going on here this room is also finished I forgot about this one this is the space room um, and so I mean this is like a, a glass star-shaped candy dish that I got like at the dollar store you know and voila it's a table so you can you can use anything really to make cute little dioramas for your dolls to get photographed in so that's just something to think about um, just to give you guys ideas if you guys want to make a diorama without you know having to make this huge box that takes up too much room so there's that So along with Oscar, the Oscar body that I had to string together, um, my dearest friend um, sent along some Moi Moi Moda blind boxes and some, let me see, I can't rem remember the name exactly, and some Eru Garden um, little Egyptian figure blind boxes as well. 
Now, she has already opened these, but I haven't. <laughs> so I was kind of going to do a little, you know, mini box opening with you guys with of these blind boxes. So first things first, let's start with the Moi Moi Mores because I have been looking at these and looking at these and, you know, just haven't gotten around to ordering any, but... Um, these are sculpted by Married All Round. Um, she's the artist behind um, some of the most amazing dolls ever, like Fang and Zuri and um, Olaf. And then she's got her pygmy size. She's got Moose and Dango and Nanaimo and Buñol. Um, and she's an artist from Spain. And um, I absolutely adore her dolls. I've had several. Um... And so she's working on a bunch of things now. She's got like a new MSD girl. She's got a new 30 centimeter size um, four sister series of dolls. Um, she's really, she's just really fantastic. And um, so anyway, she did, she did kind of take a break from dolls to work on these. And so I want to open these with you and let's see what we got now you can see here that there's you know here's all the different um i guess they're considered yeah the royal bugs collection so let's see what we got i don't want to break the box because it's so cute okay <gasps> i'm super excited guys okay What else is in here? Royal bugs. I'm, is this is this the one that is actually in here? Is, is the firefly? Look at how cute! And then a stand. So that's awesome because stands are always nice. And these little things are so adorable for like the backgrounds of doll pictures. I guess it's a her, right? <laughs> Look at her! Her wings are so cute! Oh, I love her! She is so adorable! Look at her cute little jester hat. Wow! Oh, she's too sweet! All the different colored hearts on her. And she's got little hearts painted on her knees. Guys, that's so cute. <laughs> and this is another great way to support a doll artist. Um, I know there's a lot of doll artists out there who are looking into making these types of um, collectible vinyl toys, which is cool. Um, and believe it or not it's more expensive to work with vinyl getting the molds made from the factory can become extremely expensive um, but it seems to be coming to be becoming really popular as well so look at her she is too cute oh I love that I love her she is so adorable all right, let's get on to the next one. And then this is also a cute little sticker here. I'm I'm in the the Mota fan club. I'm an official member. <laughs> That's so sweet. I love stickers. I wonder who is in here. I wonder. Stand and <gasps> the Harlequin Beetle! Oh my goodness! And they match because they're both like little kind of jestery, kind of clowny. Oh, that's too cute. Yes. This is going to be so adorable in the background for pictures. I'm always looking for props and things to, to use in backgrounds for doll photos. Look. Oh, isn't she just... Oh, she's almost like a little pirate, too. Look at her little hat. <laughs> she is too cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love...
love the little sparkles in the eyes. And her little freckles are super cute. Oh, she's just adorable. I love these. I was not expecting these. So when I opened the box, I was like, Ooh, what is this? She always spoils me. She's like such an amazing lady. Those are so super cute. All right, in order to show you guys the next ones, I think I'm just gonna open them all off camera and then show you really quick. Okay, hold on. All righty, look at how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Now, I can't really tell what their names are because everything is written in either Chinese or Japanese. Um, but they're called black boxes instead of blind boxes, but it's basically the same concept. And then it says Eru Kindergarten Fashion Toy Series, and then all the information. Um, they are collectible, so over 15 years or older. Uh, Toys, Co Toys Comic is the, is the brand or whatever. And um, I think there's like, I don't know how many there are, but, you know, there are like the rare ones that you can get, um, like how they have rare blind boxes that you can get here in the U.S., um, whether it's, you know, Shopkins or those mini brands or whatever, because it seems like everybody's doing blind boxes these days. Um, but I think... We've got two eagles, and then we've got two kitties, and then we've got, I'm not sure if one of these is supposed to be a dog, maybe a wolf, and then, yeah, I, I'm i not really good with Egyptian um, things. <laughs> But they're so cute. I think she's my favorite only because she's got purple hair. Um, and I love that she's got a little kitty. And this one does too. I mean, they're just so adorable. So I'm going to have to do some research. I mean, I've always been fascinated by the Egyptian culture. Um, when I was in school, I loved learning about mummies and, you know... Everything that had to do with Egypt, I thought was always super cool. And, of course, I do love the movie series, The Mummy, with Brendan Fraser. Um, those movies are awesome. So, it's always fascinating learning about new things. But, um, I just wanted to share these guys with you because they are so super cute. And, like, these would be such a cool, you know, background, too, for photo purposes as well. So I just wanted to share these with you and all the other stuff that I shared with you guys today. I hope you're looking forward to learning more about Trafari's story. I'm really excited to share him with you, his new outfit, and all the things that I've got going on with him. So uh, I hope you guys are all well, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!